How to get fuel in Escape from Tarkov? On which map do you have the best chances finding fuel in Escape from Tarkov? And what is the best trick that you don't have to spend so much for metal fuel tanks right now in Escape from Tarkov? That's the topic of today's EFT video. Dear comrades, Ivan the German is back for you guys and today we are talking about how to get fuel in Escape from Tarkov, where can you find fuel, what is the best trick to find some metal fuel cans and some blue fuel and all that stuff. This is going to be a very detailed guide because in my opinion you can do a lot different ways to get some fuel and of course I'm not going to steal your time I want to show you the best method first I would recommend grab a beer or two or some drinks and whatever and let's start with the video right now in my opinion the best way to get some fuel right now is the reset timer trick so the thing is if you are checking your traders you can see this small timestamps on the bottom right of each trader and this is in theory the reset timer but it's not actually true because if you are going to the flea market you can see this timer over here 43 minutes and a couple of secs and as you can see right now we have a different timestamp over here so the thing is that you actually can buy fuel on the flea market directly from jaeger a little bit earlier and that's the thing right now how you can get fuel quite easily of course it depends on a little bit of luck but the thing is right now maybe you're wondering why you can't grab a metal fuel tank on each reset it's because it's already sold out in the first minutes on the flea market because this timer over here is a little bit earlier close to zero than the other one so and as i said that's the best way right now to get fuel of course you can barter some fuel tanks i will show you all opportunities in the end of the video and we are going to show you some spawns on several maps but the thing is right now i am doing that on the offline raid but that's the thing why I do not like offline raids, they will give you a wrong view about spawn raids and the current situation. Fuel is right now so rare to find, but I'm using offline raids to show you that you have some opportunities, but the spawn raids are actually very rare. But with this video you will have a rough idea where you can find fuel if you are close by or if you're doing some loot runs, of course you can check them out. So the first map is customs, we are on the eastern side of the map and we have this, I would say pretty good building over here you can find fuel on the ground on the first floor everywhere around here you have this wooden crate this big wooden crate they are great to find fuel or some several other items like water filters and so on and so on and of course you can go upstairs you can find some water fil filters over here and you have some uh, toolboxes of course you should loot the toolboxes they have a chance to find or to spawn fuel furthermore we are still on the eastern side of the map we have this small location over here and you can find fuel right inside of this stash and we have of course the streamer building the streamer building is called streamer building because you have a green screen and some pcs upstairs and you can find fuel also on the first floor laying around and you can also check on the opposite side of the streaming room you have also several expeditionary and metal fuel tank spawns you have some jackets always loot jackets for for keys and bitcoins and all of that stuff bitcoins are pretty rare of course but right here you can find some expeditionary fuel and we have then we have the streamer room this is a little bit crowded area because you can find some gpus over there you have some duffel bags and you can also find fuel in the last room right in a shelf there can be fuel, expeditionary fuel and metal fuel. So if you are lucky enough, you can find fuel right here. But as I said, this is an offline raid. So I was very lucky, but I'm, I'm not in an online raid. Furthermore, we have this building right here. It's in almost the middle of the map, close or between the old gas and the new gas station. And we have a very high spawn rate for fuel inside of these shelves and you can also find some car batteries if you need them for a quest or for your hideout furthermore we have this generator inside of these fences and you can find some fuel right next to the generator of course we have the old gas station fuel can laying around over here or inside of the old gas and we have the new constructions new construction is very great because you have a lot of these big wooden crates with a lot of tech loot and potential fuel spawn location Furthermore, you can go inside of the new constructions, you can go upstairs, there are several big wooden crates, you should definitely loot them, because they are worth to loot. Of course, Rashala can spawn here, and this is also a little bit crowded area, but I like this area 
very much. You can also loot the plates or you should check the, check the plates, this shelf close to the big wooden crate and you can, as you can see, and as I said, you have this wooden crate to loot and there can be fuel everywhere around here. The next building is close to the L. It's called the L because this path looks like an L. You can go upstairs over here and there can also be some fuel right close to this toolbox and you can loot the toolbox of course. Drop to the first floor and check loot for over here. Then we have this small construction site. You can find fuel close to the generator if you're lucky enough as I said and right now Fuel is very, very rare, extremely rare in my opinion and a lot of guys have problems finding some fuel. Next map is Interchange and you are maybe familiar with this spot over here, maybe from your mission or from Farming Killer. We have the extract called Hole in, Hole in the Fence and we have these OP fuel barrels around here. And close to these barrels you can find also fuel right next to these barrels. You should maybe check them if you are a Farming Killer or if you are close to this extract and of course you could immediately take the extract if you do not have a backpack. And a small secret over here, we have this shop on the opposite side of the Emercom and you can find some GPUs over here, some Tetris laying around in these shelves and of course you can also find some metal fuel so you have different duffel bags and some toolboxes so you definitely should check out this shop over here, it's not so crowded like the other ones. Furthermore we have a very very crowded area, it's called Brutal Shop and inside of the Brutal Shop you have several spawns for fuel and of course you have these green racks over here. Fuel can also spawn right here but you should definitely be aware because killer is very often right in the brutal shop or close to the brutal shop and of course every player who's looking for killer will be here so it's a very dangerous area but as I said interchange can be very lucky or it can be very good if you're looking for fuel. Furthermore, we have the National and inside of the National you have several fuel spawns, so it's close to the Brutal, you should check that out. And maybe the most famous spot and also the most dangerous one right now is Oli. And Oli has a dark corner and close to this dark corner or let's say inside of this dark area you can find fuel inside of these green shelves. So. If you have a very good spawn, your chances are pretty high to find some fuel over here. But as I said in the beginning, fuel is extremely rare and a lot of players are going to loot Oli for sure. So be aware that you are most likely not alone. So as you can see right now, fuel is also in my offline raid and this is how it looks like. And right here we have another one, but as I said, it is an offline raid. The real world looks very different. Let's continue with Woods, one of my most favorite maps and we have this Emercom camp and inside of this Emercom camp you have a lot of these wooden crates, a lot of duffel bags and your chances are pretty good to find some fuel. Also you will find a lot of valuable items so Emercom camp is always recommended. Then we have the ZB16, you can find fuel right inside of the bunker so take your chance, grab some loot and I was very surprised that fuel can spawn over here, but maybe you are also a little bit luckier than I am during an online raid. Furthermore, we have in the new area two very interesting new houses. The first one is very, very interesting because you have like these server racks inside of this house, toolboxes, and you can also find some fuel. So take your chance, I will mark this house, of course, on a map so you can find it. But this barn right behind this, let's say, server house is a little bit more interesting because your chance to find some fuel tanks inside of this barn are very high. You have a big wooden crate which you can loot and some several other crates. So take your chance, go to this barn, as I said I will mark it and it's most likely not looted because nobody knows about this place over here. Then of course we have the village and the village has several spawns for some tech and some misc items. So grab your chance, also go to the village. It's not as crowded as the middle of woods, the big camp, but the sawmill, as you can see right here, was one of my best spots to get some loot right. On these shelves over here you can find car batteries very often and fuel of course. So I would grab my chance, go to the old sawmill, but be aware a lot of players are hunting Sturman right now. Sturman is inside of the sawmill, so be aware if you're going right here just for fuel. I would combine 
my runs. If you're looking for fuel or you want to hunt Sturman down, it's a great opportunity to go to this camp. Furthermore, we have this small wireless check. I'm calling it wireless check because you can find wireless key card right on this small desk over here. And we have a spawn for fuel right to this generator. So grab your chance and go for some wireless key cards or for some fuel. Then we have a ZB14. It's important to bring a key with you if you want to go for some fuel. I've never carrying the ZB14 key. I don't know why. I do not know why, but you have a good chance to find some 60 round max for the AK quest or some fuel right on this place. A good place to find fuel and some several valuable items is this new camp. I will also mark that camp for you and you should definitely check out our woods money run and expansion guide. You have several big um, wooden crates, you can find some several weapon parts, good items laying around everywhere. And this camp over here, which is close to the camp which I showed you before, is in my opinion a little bit better place to find fuel. You can find our thermal scopes laying on this, let's say, medical desk close to this tent. And you have several crates and weapon stuff to loot. So this small camp is a very good spot. Maybe one of the best spots on woods right, on, on woods right now. Um, with the sawmill and of course the Emercom camp. Then we have uh, this small location over here with the bunker and in my opinion this area is very crowded. I do not know why, maybe because of the server racks inside of the bunker, but this area is very crowded. Players are camping around this area, they are fighting a lot over here. You can go inside of the bunker, you can loot these server racks over here, you can be lucky and find some GPUs and all of that stuff, but you can also find some fuel inside of the duffel bags, toolboxes and on the area above the bunker. Then we have shoreline. Same thing as for woods, you have the village. The village is a great chance to find some tech loot. And if you're close to the village or you are spawning right close to the swamp, you should go to this house over here. It's the first house if you're leaving the village and you're going to the swamp on the left side. This is a great way to find some fuel. It's very, very underrated, but fuel, as you can see right in this offline rate, can spawn right here. So maybe you're lucky. Then we have this bus station, which is close to the west wing of the resort on shoreline. You should definitely go inside of this small house with the dead scav. Right here, you have the chance to grab some water filters and of course, some metal fuel tanks. So let's continue with the west wing on resort, but before you're entering the west wing, you have this small shack over here. Loot the toolbox, it's worth a lot. And furthermore, we have this rooms over here. If you're entering the hole or if you're going through the hole, you can loot this small room. And there is a similar room on every floor, like the first, second and third floor. And furthermore, if you are going from the west wing, first floor, to the cinema or administration wing, you will find some, I'm going to call it like facility rooms. These facility rooms are pretty good because you can find a lot of gunpowder spawning around here and of course some fuel, which is great. Then you should continue with the cinema. I'm going to call it cinema because you have the big cinema, obviously, and you will also find some facility rooms and player are most likely overlooking these rooms. But you should definitely be aware you can get sniped from the east and the west wing if you are inside of this room, so be very quick if you find something. And if you are leaving the cinema through the glass connector, you will find a dead scav inside of the east wing and this scav can spawn car batteries and metal fuel tanks. Furthermore, if we are exploring the west wing, you have also these facility rooms, as I said, gunpowder and fuel can spawn right here. And same thing with the east wing, you have similar, similar rooms like in the west wing. One of the best maps for fuel is reserve. So this is the hermetic door, the bunker hermetic door, and you can find fuel right behind this fence. This is a very uncommon spot and a lot of players do not know that they can get behind the fence. Just jump on this box over here and make a bunny hop and you can try to find some fuel right behind the fence, as I said, and you have this bigger wooden crate. You can loot it, of course. Another very interesting info for reserve, you have these green barrels and fuel can spawn right next to these green barrels on reserve. You have a lot of them on the map. And if you're lucky enough, I am not, you can find fuel spawning right here, here. And also on the inside, of this main train station building. You can find fuel almost everywhere, 
but I'm not lucky, unfortunately, to show it to you. But if you're lucky enough, fuel can spawn on the ground. Just open up your eyes and maybe, as I said, you're lucky enough to find some fuel. So on the opposite side of the bunker hermetic door, you have another building. Be aware that Glucar can spawn right here with his guards. You will notice him, of course. Furthermore, you have some toolboxes and you can find several other tech stuff like some water filters. This place is great. You have a good chance to find some fuel over here. But as I said, it's very crowded and it's a very open area. But reserve in general is not that easy to play. It's a great map. I like it very well. But it's also a little bit difficult because you have a lot of good opportunities to find some very good loot. So if you're leaving this area and you're going to another glue car area, fuel can also spawn right on the ground. You just have to look for it. And of course you have this little bit amount of luck, of course, but fuel can also spawn right here close to this generator and close to this barrel. And if you're going inside of this house and you're lucky enough to find maybe a military tank battery, you can also find some metal fuel tanks on these tables close to the military tank batteries. Same thing with the opposite building, just check out the generator and these green barrels. Fuel can literally spawn right here. Then you should continue with the gas station. Fuel can spawn right here and again with these green barrels. And if you are continuing to this building on the opposite side of the gas station, which I'm aiming at right now, you can also find several very valuable loot. You have several jackets inside of this building. You can find fuel spawning inside of the shelves. And you have jackets, as I said, and some duffel bags. So it's very good to loot over here. You can find several very good items. Then you can find some metal fuel tanks close to every bunker on reserve, as you can see right here. And you should check every tank because you can find some military tank batteries and some metal fuel tanks close to every tank. So if you are going on the hill, you have this big building with the server racks inside on the first floor. And if you're going to the next room, you have the generator, you have this shelves, fuel can spawn right here. If you are lucky enough, it's a small chance to find fuel, but there is a chance. And my last map for you is labs. Maybe it's surprising for you, but the underground of labs can spawn fuel very very often. Fuel can spawn literally on these boxes and you can see it very well. Furthermore you should go to the first floor of labs. You have these roboter arms and fuel can spawn right here on this table for example and behind these arms you can find propane very often, often and I'm going to show you that later on that you need propane for the barter to get some metal fuel tanks. And my last recommendation is the IKEA area. I'm calling it IKEA because you have this big blue shelves over here all about all around this area and you can find fuel on these boxes as you can see right now. So maybe if you have some free spaces in your inventory if you are on labs and it's more often than you think, you can grab this fuel and you're good to go. So as I promised, right after the spawn locations, I will show you some barter opportunities. First of all, Prepper, this is actually a good one in my opinion. One fuel conditioner for 40k and two propane will give you one metal fuel tank. And the propane right now should be around 80 to 100,000 ruble. It is 100,000 ruble, so this is quite okay. You will get some metal fuel for 250k from Prepper. Furthermore, you have this expeditionary fuel tank barter from Therapist. You need some purified water and you need some pineapple juice. Yesterday, pineapple juice was around 60k. Today is, I guess, 25k, 20 to 25k. So, and you can get some purified water for 130,000 ruble. This is okay, in my opinion. You could also do that if this barter is available. The last barter is from Jäger directly. You need some matches and some hunter matches hunter match at 16k and classic matches 13 to 20k it depends on it's also okay if you want to make this butter from from jaeger and you can go to your lavatory and you have a craft to do to get some fuel i would recommend just keep the items you need like the cream kit on the zippo and you can craft some expeditionary fuel tank zippo right now is around 25 to 30k it's a little bit more expensive right now and the cream kit is around 60k. So in my opinion, it's not worth to buy this border, but you will find a lot of cream kits and Zippo, especially on woods, like also the pineapple juice. And you will see on woods, you have a high spawn chance on several locations for fuel. 
So this video is longer than I thought, my brain is a little bit smashed, I do not know why, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I wanted to give you all the information about fuel which I know so far, especially the first trick with the flea market should help you a lot. I hope you liked this video and let's jump right to the next one.